Welcome to our show today. It is day 181 non-stop barbecue days in a row and we are cooking up some spaghetti on the charbroil side burner. We're using some food from our survival kit, our six month kit, and then we're using some leftover barbecue. And we're going to cook all this up today in the nice rain, wind, sun. It, it was everything today. It was just incredible. Anyways, I had a bit of a little trick to place the barbecue so the burner wouldn't keep being blown out at random. Alright, we've got our fresh creeping thyme, our fresh oregano, and our fresh rosemary. I rinsed them off. I'm letting them soak in ice cold water for 15 minutes. I'm then going to clean and prune off any bad tips of ends and stuff like that. And then I'm gonna let them soak in vinegar for five minutes. Then I'm gonna dice them up and put them in our spaghetti sauce. We're doing the one pot style um, survival cooking. We're using some fresh herbs from the fall that are still good. We've got some uh, uh, canned food from our survival kit. Um, a nice sauce that Angie won. And we are also going to use some leftover hamburger and chicken sausage links. So that's what we're gonna cook up on the barbecue. All right, I've rinsed these, I've soaked them. All I'm gonna do is nip off these bad tips on the oregano, everything else looks good. I'm just going to put them all whole into the pot and then I'm going to pull them back out once the cooking process is done. Okay, it's not raining at the moment. There's actually some sunshine. Let's see if our burner's still going. No, it went out. Dig on it. Okay, what I did is I added this ring from the uh, rocket stove around it in hopes that it would help keep the burner going on low and slow where I need it. And that didn't... <laughs> Won't that be fun? Anyways, we've got the uh, barbecue tilted where the wind will hit it le least. Or the wind comes is coming this way, so it'll have to hit the barbecue and hopefully break before it uh, blows out the fire. And once again, uh, cooking a... Here comes the wind. Get in a windstorm and look, it blew out of gas. Let's see if we can get something going with some aluminum foil or something. I don't know. That shouldn't have blown me out. I don't, I don't know. I guess I'll have to try and turn it up a little bit. Alright, I turned the barbecue around this way because this is the direction the wind goes. It goes this way for the most part when it's strong. It comes the other way when it's not so strong. And I was able to turn the stove down to low and it keeps it going. And I have the lid off here, but even with the lid off, you can see it's boiling and I don't want it that high. So we're just going to have to cook everything quicker than we had planned. And I'm doing, instead of doing a two hour simmer, I'm going to do probably a half hour, 45 minute simmer. And then we'll add our other ingredients and hopefully the herbs will, will impart into that water before we add the rest of our ingredients. And uh, that's about it. We'll just keep checking it every, uh, ooh, steamy. That didn't help. Just keep checking it every 15 minutes according to the timer and make sure the fire's going. And uh, don't want the lid on that much. And, it, and that it's not at all overcooking. Biddy, 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 biddy. That's all, folks.
Doesn't that look nice? Don't know if it looks as good on the s on film as it does in uh, person, but the way the sunlight's hitting that looks beautiful to me. All right, it's still boiling. As soon as those onions get translucent type, we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Gonna leave the lid off. All right, we're gonna get these uh, canned ingredients going. And then we'll chop up our meat and add that, and we'll let all those flavors mingle for about 15 more minutes after that. Thank you all for watching. Day 181, and we're doing spaghetti on the charbroil. And here we have our uh, spaghetti, pasta, it's all ready. And let's have a test, taste test. Whoop. Get some of that there meat, some sausage, and some pasta with some tomato. All at once. Good flavor. And I think it's mellowed out. We uh, actually put in a little bit too much Tango Vierde and I had some old hot dog buns I tossed in and soaked up some of the juice. I think that helped cut down the heat as it did adding pasta. So if you do uh, happen to have too much heat in your food, you can always try that trick at home yourself. And uh, thank you all, all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. We all come back now. You hear? Hi, Diego. How do YouTube? And um, today I've been working on the. Uh, um, schedule for the amateur barbecue circuit next year. We have two vendors uh, committed already and uh, some potential sponsors and some pot potential teams. So it's looking pretty good. And I'm also working on my online stores and the um, Eco Village projects. Um, we've almost got that fin finalized and I'm going to combine that with the barbecue circuit and try and get some funding for both of those. That'll be our work for the winter. All right, thank you all for watching. Just a little bit of rain today. We have the cherub, we have the angel with the bird feeding bowl, we have another cherub, and then we have the twins. <laughs>